Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, there. Changing my microphone. Thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, once again, welcome to Sweet Basils. Sweet Basils. High atop the World Trade Center here in Manhattan. Be cool. The rest of the people don't know. They think we're in a hip club way up on top of somebody. They don't know we're looking up at Manhattan from the, from the depths. Beautiful club. We're, we're speaking a moment because they're doing something else with my microphone, so we might as well make allowances for her. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my brilliant pianist, composer, arranger, Mr. Larry Willis. If he if he looks a little depressed, don't 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 worry about it. He's gonna be more depressed than that when his money is cut. <laughs> we're going to we're going to play a composition by Larry Willis now. It is um one of his recent works. We have a new album that will be released next week. This is the lead track from that album. It's a song called the Melandro. So beforehand, let me tell you that. A malandro, malandro is a Brazilian word. It, it means a sort of a ne'er-do-well fellow, a, um, a roué sort of, lovable rogue, a jive dude is what it means. And uh, by virtue of the experiences we've gone through tonight, perhaps Mr. Willis must have written that song as a self-portrait.
Aaron Willis composition. Walter Booker, Art Cole Bass. Blue Autumn. Larry.
Coming out the ring, Santa Quanta, that was so sad. Jimmy Cobb, drum. And our great, great drummer, one of the great drummers in all of modern American music is Jimmy Cobb. Marvelous faces, wonderful Walter Booker. And our multi-talented pianist, composer, arranger is Larry Willis. Larry. And we do thank you very much. But we're trying to adhere to the time schedule as proposed by National Public Radio. So we must take our break now, which is not exactly, uh, not to our liking. But we're going to take a break here, and uh, we'll be back to play the next set very shortly. We hope that you can stay with us. If you can't stay with us, check the next set on your radio when you're leaving. Thanks a lot. Good night. Listening to a performance of the Nat Adderley Quintet. Nat Adderley on cornet, Sonny Fortune on alto saxophone, Larry Willis on piano, Walter Booker on bass, and Jimmy Cobb on drums. We'll return with the second set after a brief pause. You're listening to the American Jazz Radio Festival. Major support for this program is provided by the National Endowment for the Arts. Additional funding comes from National Public Radio member stations and the NPR Arts and Performance Fund. Contributors to this fund include the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and RKO General, a radio and television broadcasting company. This is NPR, National Public Radio. You're in tune with Connecticut Public Radio, WPAT Middlefield, WNPR Norwich. Welcome back to the American Jazz Radio Festival. I'm Al Pryor. Our featured group is the Nat Adderley Quintet, recorded live at Sweet Basil in New York City. 
Nat Adderley has had his own prestigious recording career with such labels as Milestone, Riverside, Galaxy, A&M, Mercury, Prestige, and Atlantic. At the time of this recording, he had just signed with Teresa Records. Once again, the artists in Nat's group are Sonny Fortune on alto saxophone, Larry Willis on piano, Walter Booker on bass, and Jimmy Cobb on drums. The group's first tune reflects the area of the country where Nat and his brother grew up. It's called Tallahassee Kid.
Thank you. Thank you. That's a song called The Tallahassee Kid. It's composed by a fine pianist, Larry Willis. It's Larry Willis is the piano. <laughs> Tallahassee Kid. I'd like to mention Tallahassee Kid. Start, I'd like to start with it because uh, it's dedicated to me. I'm from Tallahassee. The kid part may be stretching a point a bit, but nonetheless, Tallahassee. You know, sometimes when you're watching television, you see, especially at, at, uh, at uh, athletic events, people come and try to stick their head in front of the camera and stuff when, when, you, when somebody's trying to interview somebody. You know, it's so tacky and crude and rude, you know, to do that. And uh, I always said that, that uh, that's a terrible thing to do, so I wouldn't be so tacky as to mention the fact that I live in Lakeland, Florida. <laughs> this broadcast is being carried over the Tampa station, WUSF. <laughs> I wouldn't be so tacky as to mention it. Or that Bob Seaman was down there taping it. For me. <laughs> Never be that tacky. You know. and, and my daughter Allison is taping it. <laughs> I'd be that tacky. <laughs> Allison, I got your own nationwide radio. How you like that? Now, in addition to Larry Willis' obvious accomplishments as a pianist, he really is a fine composer. This next song is uh, one that's a little bit less uh, frantic in terms of tempo. Um, a bit more sensitive and a bit more melodic in its structure. This one's called To Wisdom the Prize. To Wisdom the Prize.
Larry Willis composition. Walter Booker, our coat base. The wisdom of the crowd. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have a new album that will be released next week. Teresa Records, called On The Move. It's the first album with this band that has been in existence for over two and a half years now. But the first album will be out next week, and the next song is one that is uh, a prominent part of that album, so we'd like for you to hear this. This one's an original composition called The Little Boy with the Sad Eyes. Little Boy with the Sad Eyes. Ah, 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 ah.
Thank you. Little Bob with the sad eye. Thank you very much.
The Nat Adderley Quintet, featuring Sonny Fortune on alto saxophone, Larry Willis on piano, Walter Booker on bass, Jimmy Cobb on drums, and Nat Adderley leading the group on cornet.